Welcome to the first content video on T3 templates. In this video I want to show you how easy it is to install a T3 template manually. Have fun! If you don't know what T3 templates is, then take a look in the show notes. There you can find information about T3 templates and a link to the website. Now let's get started with the installation of a T3 template in Type 3 11. So we're in the backend of a brand new installation of uh, Type 3. And to install a T3 template, we go to the extension manager. Therefore, that is a brand new Type 3 installation. We need to install first two free Type 3 extensions that we need. Therefore, we go to get extensions and make sure the extension list is, is retrieving with the fresh data. You may see here on the right upper corner uh, time since last update is a little longer ago than, uh, than it is by me. So if you want to update then just simply click on update now and you get the f um, latest extension list from the Tab3 repository. There you first look up for container and install the container extension in the version 2.1. Then we need an uh, extension that calls, that's name is Content Defender in the version 3.2 something. And then we click on install here. And now we can install our template. First, we go to upload and we choose Type 3 Templates Base. We choose this and go to Upload. Then we can install the actual theme, which is in this case Creative Agency. We choose it and we click on Upload. And now the extension um, is installed. Now we have everything set up and we are basically completed the installation of a T3 template. That's easy it is. So now what you need to do if you have a completely blank uh, site and me, then you need to create a document root. Therefore we go to create a new page. We give it a name, YouTube showcase, give it a title, something like that. The important step is to make uh, to enable the checkbox use as root page in the behavior tab and we also want to enable the site then we when we have a root root page then we go to sites management and we need to configure the domain which is in my case this one i give it a proper site identifier And website title, which is basically the same that the page title of the root page in my case. So YouTube T3 templates. And you may add more languages for your site if you need one. And also what you should do is create a 404 page and refer to it in this section and also create static root for robots.txt. I leave it now empty for my the, for my website because this is not a website which is publicly available anyway. Then we need to create a new template. Therefore we go to the template module, choose the root page and create template for a new site. There we go to info modify. Easiest way is to edit the whole template record. We kill the example type of script, give it a proper template title. And then we need to go to includes. I always enable this one. And then we need to add fluid style contents. The fluid style contents elements CSS is optional. You don't need that form only added if you're using the type of three forms xml zmap should be included 
um, in every type of installation because then you have the XML setmap which you need for Google. What, what you need for the type of theme is template place first, then the theme, in my case, agency. Then we press on save and that's it. We have in installed and configured a T3 template completely. If we now go to the front page, then you see a header and a main content part, which is of course empty because our website is completely empty. That's it for this video. I thank you for watching. If you want to buy Type 3 templates from T3 templates, then visit our website. If you want to see more videos from T3 templates, then like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.